guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor in today's studio tip. I'm talking about baking polymer clay on cornstarch or baking soda. Now, a couple of years ago, I did a post all about this um, on our blog and it's been getting pinned quite a bit on Pinterest. So I thought I'd do an update and show you here a little bit more about that. Now, I mostly make polymer clay beads and jewelry and that type of thing. And so I tend to bake either on a ceramic tile or on a bead rack like this one. But there are times when it makes a little bit more sense to bake either in a bed of cornstarch or baking soda. Now I'll just explain a little bit about that. Now, pretend these were unbaked. <laughs> I haven't made any recently, but if you have a piece that's got a lot of detail like this rose or this, um, dragonfly bead here where it's got some areas that are kind of curved or could droop or get damaged somehow in the oven. What you can do is you can put them into a bed of cornstarch or baking soda and I'll explain which is best for you in a minute. But you can set them down and then you can put the cornstarch all in around the parts that could use some support and then you can even sprinkle it right down inside to protect it and keep it from scorching and to keep it from drooping while it's baking in the oven. And all kinds of different bead shapes will do well. If you do um, sculpture or that kind of thing with little arms and features and things that you're worried about um, needing support in the oven, this is a perfect solution for you. Now, you can either use <laughs> cornstarch or baking soda. Now, the difference between the two, cornstarch is just super, super, super smooth. And it rinses off really well after your piece has been baked. Um, baking soda works the same way. It'll give the same kind of support, but it's a little on the grittier side and it also has um, sodium in it. So it has a, a bit of a salt thing that happens. Um, but, um, I use Primo polymer clay and cornstarch works beautifully with it. There's no kind of adverse effects. But I've heard from the people that work a lot with Cato polymer clay that cornstarch can actually weaken the clay if it's baked in there. So they prefer to use baking soda instead and I guess you don't get the same sort of reaction. But with um, cornstarch, I mean, what I like to bake in cornstarch because if I bake my Primo in the baking soda, I find that it's left, it leaves kind of little salt marks. Um, you know, when you've been had out with your, um, in the snow and there's salt on the road and you get those little salt specks on your boots. If, well, if you live in Canada, we get, you know, a lot of salt on the roads and stuff when it's cold. That's the kind of thing that you get on your polymer clay, even after you've rinsed it. So I tend to, you know, you have to kind of sand it off or you have to um, use some acetone or something to get it off of there. I don't find that happens at all with the cornstarch. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is that you never want to have your raw polymer clay piece sit in the cornstarch for very long before you bake it. Because what can happen, both the cornstarch and the baking soda are very absorbent and they will um, soak the, ex the oils and the polymers out of the clay and that will weaken your clay. So um, what you want to do is once you've set your pieces in your um, cornstarch or baking soda, put them into the oven right away and then you won't have any issues with that. It's just when people have set them in there and then left it a day or two that they've noticed that their pieces were more brittle the next day. Now I use these little um, rectangular aluminum cake pans. They, they fit in perfectly in my um, toaster oven. There's lots of different sizes of pans you could find that will work well. Another neat advantage to these particular pans is that you can also um, just use like a little um, uh, paper clip, bulldog clip or whatever these things are called, binder clips and you you can snap it together like that on both sides and you end up having your own little oven like a mini oven or you're tenting it and you don't have to worry about that. 
Make sure to bake like you normally do at the correct temperature for your brand and to bake for at least an hour, especially if you've buried your piece completely. It takes a little more time for the heat to get in there and really get at your polymer clay. Um, so I tend to bake for at least an hour and maybe an hour 15 minutes or an hour and a half um, if I'm totally burying it like that. So I hope that was helpful for you. I, um, I will be doing a PCT test lab uh, video in the future to test exactly which brands do better in either, um, either material so that we can have a little bit more scientific kind of proof on that. But that will have to be another day. So if you liked this video and it was helpful, make sure to click that like button. I really appreciate it. And my question for you today is, um, have you baked? polymer clay in either cornstarch or baking soda which brand do you use and do you have you um, had any results that you'd like to share with us that would be great if you'd left those in the comment section below so and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel we have new videos that come out every week and you're not going to want to miss a thing we're gonna <laughs> we'll see you next time and bye for now <laughs>